KTW presents Sesame Street Show 2087, produced at Rees Teletape, New York City. very strange creature. It carries its house on its back, and on fine sunny days when it goes for a walk, it never has to go back. S snail. Let's play a game, let's play a guessing game. All you have to do is name that game. Watch what we do and watch how we play. Then see if you can name that game. We'll give you some clues and tell you the rules. It's something everybody can play. So guess if you can, guess again and again. Come on and try to name that game. Uh, first you draw a circle and then you drop the rock it's something everybody can play then you see what the letter says and you step on the letter now everybody can 
can you name that game? Let's play a game, let's play a guessing game. All you have to do is name that game. Watch what we do and watch how we play. Now everybody name that game. What are we going to call this game? How's that alphabet tangle? What? Alphabet tangle. That's, That's a good, good game. game. Who is it? This is your old pal, Grover. Yes. Greetings, froggy baby sweetie honey. Go away, Grover. Whatever it is, we do not want any. Oh, 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 oh. Mm hmm? Froggy, how do we know that, pray tell? We know that, Grover, because every time you try to sell me something, it's something that I do not need. Now, the last time you tried to sell me earmuffs, and I do not have ears. You tried to sell me a nose warmer. I do not have a nose. You tried to sell me a toothbrush, and I do not have any teeth. Ah! So whatever it is that you're trying to sell, I don't want any sense. Go by Grover. Ah! Ah! Um, Froggy, I am not here to sell you anything. You're not? I am here to give you something. Giving it. I'm giving it to you. Give it's me something. Gift. What is it? Oh, fun you ask. Hmm? What I have to give you well, is something very special that I know you need, and it's inside my official salesman-type briefcase here. Yes, what is it? It is absolutely free. Trust me. Here, I'll put it on you. Just what? go back. But, okay, I'm I over. Some, but no, where are you taking it? I don't want to go behind the couch. You're going to wonder. You're going to wonder. I never give it back. Yeah, but go over. There. A lovely toupee to adorn your brain holder. Yep. Here, just take a look at it with this mirror here. Take my what? mirror. Uh, as a matter of fact, come on down over here. We will both take a gander at you. What? Just, uh, that's it. Stand there. Oh, turn around. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Now turn the other way. Yeah. You know what, Froggy? What? You look terrible. I know. I look terrible and I look horrible. And silly? And silly, too, yes. yes. Of course you look silly. And do you know why? Because your hair is a mess, it is not neat. And do you know what could make it neat? 
A wonderful comb that I have to sell you. A comb? Yes. Just by chance, I happen to have some back there in my box. Uh, Grover, a comb will not make this hair look any better on me. Of course it will not. Not alone. However, I also have in my box to sell you a shampoo, a brush, and this wonderful little hair tonic. It's uh, greasy kid stuff. A little dab will do you. <laughs> Time ago, the king tore his royal pants. It was a royal emergency. What a predicament. Luckily, a small spool of thread was nearby and offered to help. I'm so tough and strong, the thread said. I'll patch your pants. I'll hold your royal rip together. He went back and forth, and he tried and tried, but nothing seemed to help. Oh, my. Meanwhile, a needle, seeing that the thread was getting absolutely nowhere, said, I can do better than that. I'm so sharp. I can go through anything. I can go up and down and in and out. And he did, and he did again and again, but he couldn't help either. What a dilemma. Just then, the king said an amazing thing. He said, oh! Little needle, little thread, you're so sharp, you're bright, you know what I'd appreciate if you would cooperate. And they did, they sewed and sewed and fixed his breeches, and to this day they still keep everyone in stitches. <laughs> How to be a great detective. To be a great detective, you, have, you must know how to disguise yourself. Oh, uh, that way you can listen to important conversations without people knowing it's you. Huh. If I want to be a detective, and I do, uh, I'll have to practice wearing disguises. Uh, I got a lot of disguises here. Uh, I'll put one on and see if anyone on Sesame Street knows who I am. Let's see now. Uh, I'll try the beard. There! <laughs> now no one will know it's me! <laughs> oh boy, this is fun! Here goes! You know, I was wondering if uh, I should take my raincoat downtown with us. <sighs> I'll sneak up unrecognized and listen in on this very important conversation. Well, you know, I don't know. The weatherman said it was going to be cloudy, so... Well, they said 50% chance of rain. Oh, what do they know, That's right? True. That's true. Oh, hiya, Telly. Uh, hiya, who? Uh, I'm not Telly. I'm a, I'm, I'm a someone else. Oh, come on, Telly. You mean you recognized me? Well, of course we <laughs> recognized <laughs> you. No. Telly, what is this on your chin? Uh, oh, nothing, nothing. It looks like a uh, beard to me. Well, what if it does? I can wear a beard, can't I? Golly, it's a free country. <laughs> well, well, excuse <laughs> us. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I don't know. <clears throat> Gee, it didn't work too well. <gasps> ah, there's Gordon. <laughs> I'll bet he doesn't recognize me. Ah. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, sir. Do you have the time? Oh, hi, Telly. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's quarter after. Hey, how did you know it was me? Oh, well, that's easy. Uh, you're a monster with, with uh, that hair up there and uh, those eyes and that pink fur. Uh, well, anyone could have pink fur. Well, you're the only one on the block here. Hmm. I say, uh, where'd you get this, this beard here? Hey, beard? Look at that. Huh? What beard? Uh, well, how did that get there? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, see you, Gordon. Oh, gosh. Now I'll never be a detective. It didn't work at all. I wonder why. I know. This disguise, it's not good enough. I'll get a bigger one. Uh, then they'll never know me. <laughs> 
things aren't that bad, <coughs> but they aren't so great either. Baby, how you swim so free Water, baby, I'd so like to be Swiftly rising, breaking toward the sun Always having fun Till the day is done Water, baby, please show me the way. Can I learn your clever way to play? Diving, twisting, bubbles in my eyes. What a cool surprise. 
How'd you get so wise? Water, baby, can we be good friends? Must we stop here where the water ends? Splashing, turning, there's a chance to see. I'm so much like you. You're so much like me. I'm thirsty, Bert. Bert? Oh, I forgot. Bert's away. He's visiting his brother, Bart. Boy, usually when I wake up thirsty, I always tell Bert. Wish I could tell him that I was thirsty. Let's see. Maybe I could write him a letter. That would take about three days. Then he'd write a letter, and that would take another three days. By that time, I'd be awfully thirsty. Maybe I could, I could just be patient and wait for Bert to come back. That'd take about two weeks. In two weeks, I'd be really thirsty. I wish I could just, I wish I could just tell Bert. Wait a minute. I can tell Bert. Tell him on the telephone. Hello? Hello, Bert? Hey, Bert, it's Ernie. Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. Listen, Bert, I was just thirsty, and I thought I would, uh, I, I thought I would tell you, because I always tell you when I'm thirsty, Bert. Uh, uh, no, Bert, I, I don't have any idea what time it is. Well, I was asleep too, Bert, until I woke up thirsty. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay, Bert. Thanks a lot, Bert. Bert said to, to go get a drink of water and go back to sleep. That's what Bert always says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly feels better. Nice to know that Bert's just a phone call away. <coughs> oh. Gee. Oh, I can't sleep. Can't sleep, Bert. Oh. oh. Hello, Bert. Hey, Bert, it's Ernie again. Hey, yes, thank you. I, I got the drink of water, but uh, listen, Bert, now I can't sleep. Mm-hmm. Count sheep. Oh, great, Bert. That, that, that's wonderful, Bert. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Listen, I won't call you any more tonight. No. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One sheep. Two sheep. What's that, Bert? No, no, I didn't forget to hang up the phone, Bert. No, it's it's three sheep. What do you mean, why you, Bert? Four sheep. Oh, this telephone is wonderful. It's almost like having Bert right here. Ernie. Five sheep. Come on. That's going up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, ah might have known. Ah, here, here it comes down again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Wait a minute, it's going back up again. Six, seven, eight. Hold it. Here it comes down again. 
Seven, six, five, four. Oh, what is this? There it goes up again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This elevator's some kind of a dumb yo yo. Oh, here it comes down again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Ha! You see, in this disguise, no one will know who I am. Gordon recognized me because of my hair, but now I've got on this wig, see? That'll do it. Oh. Hi, Hi, Joey. Uh, what? Uh, are you talking to me? Yes. Wanna play? Why do you think I'm Telly? Uh, Telly doesn't wear a tie. Uh, uh, Telly doesn't have... Blonde hair. I'm not Telly. I'm a, I'm a Inspector O'Reilly of the uh, school crossing guard. No, you're not. You're Telly. Uh, uh, not necessarily. Uh, may, maybe you're wrong. Uh, could be. Gosh, I can't understand it. People still recognize me. Hi, Telly. How you doing? You too. Oh. Telly, why are you so sad and... Why are you wearing that wig and that tie and that beard and that... And I didn't know you smoked a pipe. I, I don't. It's a disguise. Uh, I'm trying to be a detective, and you need a disguise so your enemies won't recognize you. The trouble is, everybody recognizes me. Oh, you poor oh, I'll never be a detective. Well, now, don't, don't give up. You, you'll find the right disguise. I will? Sure, and no one will recognize you. You really think so? Yeah, just keep trying. Keep trying. Okay. Uh, uh, thanks, Maria. Okay. Good luck. Uh, you might try disguising your voice. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Telly. Poor Telly. He's trying to play detective by using disguises. Oh. But the thing is that everybody's recognizing him, so he feels really bad. That oh. explains the beard. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, you know what? I've got an idea. He's going to go put on some more disguises. Why don't we not recognize him? That'll make him happy. Right. Yeah. We've never seen him before. Perfect stranger. No matter what he says, we don't know him. Right. right. OK? Yeah, you'll be thrilled. <laughs> The nominees for the best animal, beginning with the letter E, are elephant and elk. And the winner is elephant. E! How would you like to meet a few folks around the neighborhood today? Hmm? All right. Oh. Who are the people in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood? Say, who are the people in your neighborhood, the people that you meet each day? Yeah, well, okay, sure, anything. Hey, uh, hold it, you, you must be the television repairman. Ah, you got the picture. You're the guy that fixes broken TV sets, is that Say, right? you know how to use your knob. <laughs> you also do radios? On and off. Ah, what would you say if I said, my television set's broken? I'd say, video like me to fix it here, audio want me to take it back to the shop. I don't intend to laugh at that. The repairman is the one to see if there's something wrong with your TV or if your radio is on the blink. I will fix it for you in a wink. Cause the TV man's a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood, yes, the TV man's a person in your neighborhood. A person that you meet each day. Oh, I'll see you around. Okay, huh? take it easy. Well, that's one we met so far. Excuse me, oh. I'm the clockmaker. Have you got a minute? Oh, sure. Oh, you're the person that fixes broken watches and clocks. You must be very busy. Oh, yeah, but I always have time on my hands. <laughs> oh. Still, no cause for alarm. Oh. Always something in the works. <laughs> Just sing, please. Oh, the clockmaker is good. I'm... I mend the things that tell you time. If you have a broken watch or clock, I will fix it so it goes tick-tock. 
across the clock makers a person in your neighborhood in your neighborhood she's in, in your neighborhood. neighborhood and the tv man's a person in your neighborhood they're the people that you meet when you're walking down the street they're the people that you meet each day how about a big hand for the clockmaker who asked you to chime in i'll do the jokes a little hand why don't we just wind this thing up Practicing to break boards. Wow. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I'm impressed. <laughs> ¿Qué es esto? What is it? Aha! This is my best disguise yet. And to make it better, I'm going to disguise my voice. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to talk up high like this. <laughs> this time, they'll never know me. <laughs> this disguise is so good, I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> Shh, here comes something. Don't forget. Oh, nobody, nobody knows what doing. <laughs> <laughs> Say, has anybody seen Telly around here? No, no, I, you know, I don't see him anywhere around here. Neither do I. Uh, hooray! Um, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. Have you seen our good friend Telly? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Mm. Mm. I would certainly recognize him if I saw him, wouldn't you? Oh, oh yeah. of course I would. With my eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. It worked, it worked. <laughs> excuse me, but what worked, sir? Uh, Sir? I don't believe we've met. Uh, uh, are you new around here, sir? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, it's, it's, it's me. Uh, it's me. Uh, don't you recognize me? What are you talking <laughs> about? I don't know. Did you know I, mean, I don't no. know. No, no, I never no. seen him It's no. me. Uh, it's me, Tilly. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, look, I look, know look, Tilly. Look, 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 pink fur. A pink stranger. Yes, with blonde hair. And a beard. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> take off the beard. Oh, it won't come off. Oh, sure. sure. Uh, wait, no. wait, wait. Uh, don't you recognize my voice? <clears throat> That's a pretty good disguise, yeah. you know? A pretty good imitation. You know what I think? I think that you are a bearded stranger who's disguised to look like Telly. That's what I think. Yeah. Come on, let's Probably. let's go and uh, find. Yeah, let's find the real. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, excuse me, no, sir. no, no, excuse please, me, please, sir. come back. Uh, it's Bye. me. It's me. Uh, look at my hair. Uh, 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 oh. oh, I'll show you my Gratketeer membership card. Gee whiz, this time my disguise was too good. Uh, I don't know if I want to be a detective. If you wear a disguise, your enemies won't recognize you, but your friends don't recognize you either. Hmm. Well, what do I do with all this stuff? Uh, maybe I could be an actor. <laughs> the letter S. C. 
six snakes spent Saturday on the sand. For supper, they served soup, salad, spaghetti with sauce, sandwiches, and sausages, followed by sweets. After the sumptuous supper, the six snakes slept snoring. The letter S. The name is Grover. I am a detective. I am a monster. I am furry. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I am cute too. I was sitting in my office one windy day when suddenly there was a knock on the door. Is this the office of Grover, cute furry monster detective? That it is. Mm. And you are looking at him. Oh, oh, Detective Grover, you've got to help me. Something has been bothering me all day long. Something has been bothering you? Yes, something has been bothering me, and I don't know what that something is. Hmm. I could see this case was going to be really something. I asked for clues. Hmm. Now, calm down, sir. I will figure out what this something is, but first, I need clues. Now, how has this something been bothering you? Uh, well, this morning, it rattled my windows. Hmm. Rattled windows. I seem to remember a window rattle case in Frisco once. Tell me more. Well, then I heard it making low moaning sounds and, and, and whistling sounds. <laughs> hmm. Moaning and whistling. What else? Well, when I went outside on the street, it started throwing things at me. Leaves and dirt and, and even pieces of paper. Hmm. Messy. <laughs> Very messy. Mm-hmm. What does this something look like? I don't know. You do not know? No, it's invisible. I, I know it's there, but, but I can't see it. <laughs> this case is getting stranger all the time. Now, let me go over my notes again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this morning... Aha! You had your windows rattled. Yes. Let's see now. Um, it makes moaning and whistling sounds. Please, sir, do not crush the color. Now, then things start being thrown at you. They come and they go in the detective business, but it was too windy a day to work on a case anyway. Um, uh, there are many words that begin with the letter S. For instance, there's the word, uh, subway. Sailboat. Sled. Scooter. Skates. Skis. But there's one word that starts with S. I particularly like. Stop!
I could watch the rain for hours as it waters. Little flowers helps the grass and trees to grow. With a hey, nanny, nanny, and a ho, ho, ho. The rain will wash the street, the birdies wash their feet, and when it stops, they sing so sweet, tweet, 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 tweet. With a hey, nonny, nonny, and a ho, ho, ho. And I really like the notion, rain fills up our lakes and ocean, giving fish a place to swim. With a hey, willow, whaley, willow, whim. With a hey, nonny, nonny, and a ho, ho, ho. Tweet, tweet, willow, whim. But you have figured out how bad that while we're singing, we are getting wet. We are getting wet. And if we really used our brain, we, we would sing our song inside and get it out of the rain. Oh, 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 oh
As a matter of fact, I guess I am. Four minus three. Four minus three equals one. Four minus three equals one. We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Yeah, well, you better take a wide picture of it, you know, because his nose grows and we don't want to blow it. You know, the picture, not the nose. Oh, oh hi, hello. Hi, ho there. Uh, uh, Kermit the Frog here. And today we are speaking to you from the workshop of Geppetto, which is the home of the world-famous wooden boy, Pinocchio. And hey, Frog. Hmm? Are we on TV? Uh, yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. Now, it is said that when Pinocchio tells a lie, his nose grows and gets longer. And when he tells the truth, the nose gets shorter. <clears throat> I, want, I want to say hello to my mother, the oak, and the high ma, and to the saplings, myrtle, and magnolia. Hi! Uh, excuse me, uh, Pinocchio, but is it indeed true that when you uh, tell a lie, your nose does get longer? Ah, yeah, yeah. You want to see me lie and, uh, and have my nose get longer? Yes, would you please? Sure, they come from all around for that. Okay, stand by, folks, because in just one second now, Pinocchio is going to tell a lie and his nose is going to get longer. Get this, folks. My name is Abraham Lincoln and I'm 500 feet tall. How about that? You see that, folks? The nose did indeed get longer. Hi. Talk about a nose for news. You call that longer? I'll show you longer. This is longer. I am a thousand million years old and I can lick Superman. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, uh, Pinocchio, why don't you uh, tell a little bit of truth now and make this nose shorter, huh? Okay, folks, here's shorter. My name is Pinocchio. Oh, that, that's very good. And, and, and if you tell uh, truth again, it'll get a little bit shorter, huh? Okay, and I love jelly beans. Wonderful. Ah. Okay, folks, isn't that great, and Pinocchio? Now for the folks here? in television land who missed it the first time, here's longer again. My name is Cinderella, and for breakfast, I ate two dragons. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's fine, Pinocchio. And then Pinocchio. I ate the whole world, and then I sat on the moon, and then I became the president of the United States. Uh, oh, wait, 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 a, wait a second, Pinocchio. Why and then you, uh, I drank a million trillion glasses of milk, and then I ate airplanes, and I put the sun in my pocket. Uh, this is Kermit the Frog at the end of Pinocchio's nose. And I swallowed a whale. Oh, no. And then I turned orange and yellow and green. Oh, no. And then... Stop your nose. I want to get off. What? I say, would you please tell the truth and make this thing shorter so I can get off of this thing? Oh, this is Kermit the Frog. Ah! outside today, Bert. Boy, it sure it is, It really is cold. Real cold, mm. yeah. In fact, it's so cold, I thought, I thought maybe you and me could play a game together. 
play a game together. Yeah, because it's so cold outside. Bert, what a wonderful idea. What okay. a great idea. I'm so glad you thought of that, Bert. Just yeah. one second, Bert. I'll go get ready. Just a minute. Go get ready. Ernie, Ernie, what's to get ready? Okay, Bird, here I am, ready to play a game with you on a nice, cold winter morning. No, no, Ernie, when I said it was cold outside and I wanted to play a game, uh -huh. what I meant was I wanted to play a I game. I know, Bert, I, I know just ex I know, I know exactly what you're thinking, Bert, because I've known you for so long. Yeah. Hold one second, I'll be right back, Bert. Back? Mm -hmm. but, but, Ernie, what are you doing? Ernie, what are you, okay. what is that sled on, for? Bert. We're going to go sledding. Isn't that what you want to do, Bert? No. You want to go sledding on a nice no. winter day like this? No, that's not what I want to do, Ernie. That's not what you want to do? No, oh. when I said, will you be careful oh. with that sled in the okay. living room? Oh, uh, yes, Bert. Ernie, okay. what I said, when, when I want to play I games, know. see what I said? I know, Bert. I know just, don't say another word, Bert. I'll be right back. Ernie, what? Ah! What is okay. that hockey stick doing here? Hockey! We're going to play ice hockey, right, Bert? Ice no. Hockey. You have your hockey puck, Bert? Hmm? No, Ernie. No. No. What? No ice hockey. I don't want to play a game you of ice hockey. ice hockey. What I want to okay, do, Bert. I want to play a game of... of uh... I know, Bert. I know just what you want to play a game of. Hold one second, Bert. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't think you do it. What is that? Ernie, you can't bring those in the okay, living room. Okay, Bert, you want to go skiing, Ernie, right, Bert? You be careful, We're going to go what? skiing down the slopes, Bert. No. I don't know how to ski, Ernie. You don't know how to ski, Bert? You know that, Bert. and I don't want to do that anyway. Be careful. Ernie. Well, gee, Bert. I don't want to do all this well, at listen, all. I've gone, I've gone through all the things that you can play out in the cold. You said it was so cold out there that you wanted to play... A game of checkers. I want to play a game of checkers. A game of checkers, A game Bert? of checkers. A That's game what I of play. checkers? Yes. Well, why did you have me get all dressed up like this just to play a game of checkers in a warm apartment, huh, Bert? I mean, why did you make me drag out all my skates and my hockey stick and my sled and my skis? You don't need all that stuff to play a game of checkers, Bert. Don't you know that, Bert? <laughs>
Cold? 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 Cold. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at those great detective disguises. Who are you, kids? Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters E and S and by the number four. I'm among strangers. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Adios. Thank you.